Hello, welcome back to Lloyd and JD's Too Many Topics. I'm Lloyd. I'm JD. Today we're talking about Kraken, deep yeah. sea creatures. Yep, so on Google well, Earth. It was not that deep because it was on the surface. Yeah. There was somebody that who obviously has way too much time on their hand and was scrounging the ocean <laughs> and find found something that appeared to be Kraken-like, some sort of sea monster coming out of the ocean based on the uh, satellite images that came out of Google. When he found it right by that weird cove. Yeah. Two up north. So yeah. I read a little bit about that place. Bunch of weird ongoings. Yeah. I tell thee. So, but it is massive. Yeah. So it could be something different from a giant squid. Well, it could be, or it could be just a, a massive giant squid or. You know, there's been numerous times where big random shit has washed up on beaches and no one knows what it is. Yeah. Like I remember in England, there's that big, fatty mass that washed up on uh, England shores and it was full of organs and was an organic thing. Right. But it had no face, fins. It was just kind of a blob. So was it a jellyfish? I don't know what it was. It was it was massive. Yeah. Like really big. Yeah. It's like from here to the other side of the room, big. Yeah. So there's random stuff in the ocean. Oh, yeah. I Scary mean, shit. The, the truth of the matter is, is the deeper you get, the darker it gets the less information that we have. Yeah. Because, you know, we don't... Well, not just that. It's such a vast ocean. It's a little different from land, like, because people, you know, we do have big boats that go on certain routes through the ocean that are constantly taking freighters back, you know, back and yeah. back and forth. But, you know, those put off a lot of noise. A lot of things that live in the ocean, they're very sensitive to noise, the vibrations in the ocean. They've all got, you know, different ways of sensing, you know, sharks can smell blood bloody miles away you know yeah. what i mean miles and miles and miles away so it's not uncomprehendable that anything massive in the ocean maybe would stay the fuck away from our roots and you know it would be it would be hard to track you know to see yeah I, you know I, we still don't know where certain whales go to breed and shit like you know the blue whales one of the biggest the biggest whale in the world we don't know where it goes to breed yeah. uh, again you know the, the ocean's very vast um it's deep we don't go to the depths that a no. lot of these things have. We know more about Saturn than we know yeah. about fucking Mariana's Trench. Yeah. Or the we know abyss. more about the moon. Exactly. You know. So, I don't know. Could have been anything, in my opinion. Yeah. From the picture, you can't see, can't see anything. Yeah, you can't really tell what it is. I mean... Because I guess, in a yeah. sense, it could be a big rock sticking yeah. out the ocean. <laughs> but but I don't think there's a mass there. I think that's part of the reason that... Uh, I, mean, I mean, that yeah. that was definitely circulated in the sense that, well, it's just, you know, a big outcrop with a wave crashing against it, which which might be the truth. I mean, unless you go to those coordinates and, and take a look for yourself, you probably about never going to know. Talking about islands, though, did you hear about that island? Oh, is it by Australia? That has been documented up till like 2000, was it 13? As it was there, it was mapped. Yeah. And now it's gone. Right. Not there anymore. Things like that happen. What the fuck? Pretty yeah. big island. Weird. Yeah, but I mean, sea levels change and ocean levels change. Yeah, but this so. island's been known to do it back and forth, isn't it? Yeah. But like, they, they, they go to those coordinates with boats, submarines, nothing there. Hmm. You'd think there'd still be a sandy mass or a rocky... Something that would poke above the ocean ground. Yeah, I would have to, to look into. That's cool. Things. Maybe we should do a, a little podcast on that one because right. when I was looking around. So. Take a boat out to the island? No, I meant <laughs> I meant you, you, you investigate and tell me what you think. Because <laughs> me, me investigate. And, I think uh, it was recently on Ancient Aliens, actually, yeah. which is why I think I'm talking about it because they've got a new season out, which obviously, you know, I love that show. Yeah. And they were talking about mysterious islands. So it was cool. Yeah. There's definitely lots of shady things going on in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's lots of lots of stuff to be found and uh, discovered. I think it's you kind of annoying that. because it's right in front of our faces, and yet yeah. we we know more about space than we know about the ocean. It's kind yeah, of like it, well, it's funny because I, I would say there's actually more desire t for mankind to move outward from ourselves than to actually than to actually understand exactly yeah. what which, we have, which is with maybe us, the right? problem. Yeah, because maybe if we looked at our own planet and just actually kind of you know honed it in here i think we'd have a better better way of thinking i don't yeah. know it seems like we just want to fuck this place up and escape yeah yeah <laughs> it, it does kind of seem that way yeah so all right well i'm lloyd i'm jd peace see ya